You're getting sleepy. Very sleepy. Uh, uh, you are getting very... And there was a second radius where they would fall asleep if you went out. And then there was a third radius in between those two where they would go into what we called an alert idle. Where yeah. they would sort of look around for you so they didn't feel too stupid. Like if you just cross an invisible line. <laughs> Is he gonna make me some eye bolts? You want more hypnomatic part? Oh. Uh... Where's the other hypnomatic part? I don't know. Mike, I'm confused. What did, what did we not do? Um, oh, we have to take it to the, the, the guru to reassemble it. Don't right. We? Yeah. Am I, am I remembering correctly? Maybe. Oh, giant clank. Right. That's completely it. All right, we're doing that. So continue to talk about cuboids and other areas. And... Right, so the the main way that we had of, of indicating a volume that when Ratchet walked into it would trigger one of these uh, areas was uh, a cube. We would set a cube and we'd say, if the hero's inside this cube, then, you know, activate whichever alert radius this cube is linked to. And uh, uh, it, it works pretty well. It's a, it's a, it's a good system. Um, in the first game, the enemies only had one radius, right? They would have the radius where they would attack, which was the same as the radius where they'd fall asleep. And we got a lot of criticism for the enemies looking dumb because you would walk across the line to activate them, take one step backwards, and they would be like, what? <laughs> where are you? I don't know what's going on. I think it would have been funnier if he grew from the head down as opposed to from, <laughs> from the legs up. He shrinks that way. He shrinks from the head down. Yeah, I know. Because that actually makes sense. Uh, you know what? I'm really glad to see you do a giant clank segment because you gave me a lot of shit last time for sucking at it. You did suck at it. They sucked at it. Don't blame me because you sucked at it. I don't remember this one at all. I remember this. It's a, it's the whole mothership thing. It's kind of weird. Why are there aliens here? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. What the hell is going on? Well, <laughs> oh, you were getting savaged, dude. Keep on punching. I don't really have much to say about Giant Clank. Except that it's awesome, and that Giant Clank stuff is just good. Everybody loves Giant Clank. It's yeah. just good, it's man. Universal. It's mindless just smashing. I have to say, I like the Giant Clank stuff I designed in the next game. Because I think, really, I did as good as you could with Giant Clank. I maxed him out, is what I'm saying. With the Terror of Talos. Do so you have to bring down his shield? No, he takes it down periodically. I just keep moving him off camera. I don't want him to the shield. I remember... <sighs> Excuse me. Um, I remember uh, jumping on him. Yeah, that's the thing. I just have to, like, right now, probably do this. So I just have to keep don't up... Don't you have missiles and stuff. Yeah, I, know. I just have to keep up with him. I sound like the other side of the planet. I don't know what's wrong with so I didn't have anything to do with, with, uh, with the Spherical World. Um, I didn't have anything to do with Spherical Worlds until the next game. The next game is when I when I really got my teeth on Spherical Worlds. So just so, so we have something to talk about in here, what was like a big spherical challenge? Uh, um, pro programming wise. I'm just phys spherical physics are pain in the ass, and just uh, having to make everything move around on a sphere just sucks. And you have to align it with you know gravity and. That's the thing is gra gravity is normally fairly constant uh, in in you know normal levels. You make a lot of assumptions right. that gravity always means down on Z. Exactly, and uh, in this one you have constantly shifting gravity depending on your position, and it just broke everything because everything had to every frame it had to say, okay, what's my gravity right now, and then it had to just dip, do everything based on that. And it's a huge pain and it sucks, but the results are very good. It's a it's a great effect. It's difficult to find out what you can do with with that effect. That's fun and interesting. That's that's the big challenge. So I think these little guys are spawning. Yeah, but they're giving me health, and I'm really low on them. They're also taking your health. I'm dead. Ooh. Totally died. You want me to? Yeah, let's let's have you give it a go. 
you know, watching you play it, they seemed tough, but, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, like, they're really tough. They pack a punch. Jumping on him was kind of effective, but it seemed to be better to just sit there and punch him. How did I catch up with him? What, what you just I... sit, stick with him, and eventually you'll be near him when he stops, but you just have to follow him. Sense, man. Uh, like why you're fighting aliens and mechs and stuff? I suppose we explain it, but wasn't it like some galactic reality show or something? I'm not sure. I don't know the whole thing. See, I haven't been paying attention to the story since we've been replaying, and it's been too long. Did you notice we're using a different health effect on this level? Yeah. Uh, probably because the regular health effect was too expensive. Uh, and probably didn't work on a sphere. Jeez. I haven't done really anything to do that. They just don't ever stop. Seems to be. Do they have projectiles? No. Okay. Ah! God, the rape is down there. And from here, you can probably like throw bombs and stuff and actually get out. Oh, down at them? Yeah. Or jump at them or something. But you need to kill them so we'll spawn more. It's sort of the thing. That's why you really want to kill them. Why do I want him to spawn more? So he'll let the shields down. Be a shortage of these guys. Well, that's the thing, is when there's too many, he won't spawn them. So you kill them, and then he spawns more of them, and the shields come down. Doing good now, though. Now you're picking it up. Okay, he kind of ran away. Okay, he's dropping more. Whoa! Faster when you're punching? Probably. It feels that way for sure. Whoa. That's not nice. Oh, come what? on. Don't die. Fuck. Switch it off one more time. You gotta stay on him, I guess. Ah! 
That knockback is killer. Yeah. I was throwing a bomb and he knocked me out. That happened to me every time I tried to throw a bomb at him. Hey, you hurt him real bad right there. Yeah, if I'm on him when he lands, I can do a lot of damage. All those missiles do a ton when you're, when you're hitting him. Like, they do a surprisingly large amount of damage. Yeah, see, they're, you're working. I might also just be Act 2. Well, we probably are, but still. Damn it! Leave me alone! The missiles don't seem to do anything against them. I'm about to die again, too. Oh, his shields are down permanently now. What's he doing? Do we just keep jumping up and down? You take a little bit of damage from that too, it seems. No, you don't. It's gonna be hurting him though. Oh yeah, you're not. <sighs> okay, act tuning. Oh my fucking are you What the some bullshit right there, so. We look like stupid focused at Like, well, it's, not, it's, it's too hard. <laughs> just completely lost what to do. We get to the final stage of the boss battle. I'm like, I don't understand what we're supposed to do. I just jump on him a couple times. We'll see what happens. <laughs> that was pretty sad. <laughs> Dude, that knockback is so crazy. Just uh, another thing to talk about. You were talking about like a lot of the challenges of Syrup Worlds. And this is more of a design challenge than a programming challenge, but it's so much easier for guys to sneak up on you and just cheap shot you in the back on a spherical world than it yeah. is. Because at least on a normal flat world, if you put something in front of them, They'll see it, because it's in front of them. Yeah. But that's not really the case on a spirit Well, there is no in front of you on a spirit Because everything is all around you. Hey, you know what? Golden rule of Ratchet and Clank boss fights. Every time you die, you're one step closer to victory. That's right. Maybe this should have got the Snow Beast Award. <laughs> I don't remember it being this hard, man. I don't know we what must, happened. We must be doing something wrong. Like they're, well, for, okay, we're not doing anything wrong. It's, it's the if the if there's a problem, it's a problem with design. But uh, there must be something the game is expecting us to do that we're not doing. Man, what happens if you run out of missiles? God knows. Victory! Good job, Tony. There's a lot going on there. Oh, there we go. Woo! -hoo. All right, so uh, you guys probably didn't see anything because we cut that. I think that was about four times, uh, failing for each of us. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wait, that was, well, that was the mapper? mapper? That wasn't the hypnomatic. Wait, where's our hypnomatic part? Um, we have two of three. We have oh! We missed something. We missed something on Smog. Did we? It says. Alright. You, oh. Remember when you took the, the non-taxi back? Oh, how did I miss that? I don't know. I don't know. Some guy who must have done that level. 